this again is why on the first position, as you can see, the, the market went immediately from an uptrend to a downtrend. And this is why on the first position we want this to be small. Because you're, you're taking a stop that's uh, over 100 points. You, know, you don't, you don't want to take a stop like this uh, on, a, on a big position unless you have a big account. And even then, you don't want to. You, you you wouldn't want to take a big position on the initial run. You want to let the the move happen first. So we've got hands developing. Uh, we've got one here. Again, these two are close enough um, that I mean I'd be a little reluctant to use them as separate entries, but they are separated a little bit. Uh, we've got a low there of eight six six nine. Eight six six nine. And then we have a, a low over here of 8654. See, they're just very close. So the question is, well, which one do you use, the lower one or the, or the higher one? Well, I'd like to use the lower one. Why? Because I want momentum in my favor. I want, you know, I want the market to be moving. Okay? It's a trend-following system, not a pure momentum system. Okay, so my pick would be 8654, the lower low. Okay, uh, moving along, Japanese yen. Unless, um, I'll go back over the questions, but unless we've got some specifics about uh, the currency crosses, I'm just going to be sticking with the majors for now. Uh, if you remember, this was a, a trade worked out very well. Um, big move down off of the, the November lows, eventually stopped out. Uh, right here, the last position was stopped out basically at a break even. Profitable trades on the other, I think there were three positions on that one. Uh, and we're starting to develop uh, um, another hand here. We've got hand forming, formed there, uh, and actually another one possibly forming to the downside. Uh, however, we did, uh, you know, the market is trading sideways here. So you've got to keep this in mind. The market may go into a weave. If you're a conservative player, you're going to want to wait for the market to get underway. Okay? And you can see here that the red, red, the fast moving average or the red is still underneath the green. You'd want the red going like this and the green going like that. Red above green. Uh, but the hand over here, the high is 111.23 based on the high right here. 111.23. Uh, we also had the radical change. Um, you can see there's, whoops, here's the moving average. And again, depending on where you're, you're kind of tracking it from, here's price. That's your radical change. There's your bar, your big bar. That one's pretty close. It's actually also where we exited the other trade. <clears throat> so again, depending on depending on your trading style, it could have been a stop out and reverse at the same time. But no, I'm not. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm not. I'm not going to get into that right now. 111.23. Oh, the low over here possible uh, is 109.57. 